Hi, this is Aaron at Classic Vacuum in North Canton, Ohio, and this is how to unclog a shark vacuum. If your shark vacuum just shut off in the middle of you using it, uh, if it's spinning out debris in the front, it just doesn't have suction, uh, maybe you feel here, it's not sucking at the end of the hose, your vacuum might be clogged up. Uh, the first place you want to check is the dirt cup here. Um, a lot of times uh, it could be clogged up in the dirt cup on your shark vacuum. On this particular machine you can see there is a screen here. You want to make sure that is free and clear uh, and the dirt cup does not need emptied. Uh, next with shark vacuums they almost all have a filter underneath the dirt cup. This particular one has a foam filter here and another filter underneath that one. Make sure these are both absolutely clean. These are washable. Lastly, check your HEPA filter. On this one, the HEPA filter is on the front. Um, it shouldn't look black. If I bang it out, notice there's no dirt in my hand. If I go like that and your hand's covered in dirt, it's time to replace this filter. Uh, this filter is not washable and should just be purchased and replaced. Most all shark vacuums have a hose of some type. Um, you can see this one over here, hose. So the next place, if we've checked the dirt cup and we've checked the filters, check the hose. Just remove the hose like you're gonna normally use it and then down at the machine, there's always some type of catch. This one has a release button. Pull out your hose. At this point, you can kind of look through it, uh, drop something heavy like a, like a bolt or a coin, um, see if it gets stuck in the machine. So here, I'll take a coin out of my pocket. It drops right through. It was not, it was not clogged. If it is clogged, if you do find a clog in your hose, you may see it right at the end of the hose. The tightest point typically is right here. Normally stuff's gonna catch there. A little quick tip, um, if you do have, if the, if the item went in and got clogged, a lot of times it'll go back out the front. So you can turn on your machine and your hose inlet there. I find that if I stick the end of the hose into that inlet and kind of cup it so it makes a seal, those items will immediately be sucked into the dirt cup. That way you're not trying to jam a broom handle or other large object through the hose. So that's a quick thing uh, before getting out your hanger or whatever you're gonna do. Just stick the end of the hose in that suction inlet and a lot of times that hose will, that clog will just come right out of there. Uh, if the clog is in the hose, maybe you can feel it. You can feel an item is in the hose. A lot of times stretching the hose out, again, maybe reverse it or leave it in all the way, but the way this hose is a stretch hose, when it's short, it's closed off inside, and when you open it up, it's gonna open inside. So a lot of times, if there's a clog here, I will stretch this hose out, and it will allow that clog to move as I stretch the hose and out of the machine. So those are just two uh, little quick tips to unclog your hose or your shark vacuum. So you've checked your hose and it's not clogged, you dropped your coin, it went straight through, maybe it's a wand. So then the next easiest way is just, we'll do our wand release here. And wands are easy, we can just look through. So I can look through this and see there's nothing in it. The next thing is uh, to check the neck of the power head. Uh, this particular machine has the lift away feature, so that's gonna make it easy. Um, we can lift the canister up and off. Uh, the next popular place for clogs is here. So in this particular shark, I can visually see this clear hole. I can make sure that the clear hole is not, uh, the, the hose is not split. Shark does not sell this hose, but if this hose is broke, go see your local dealer. Uh, there is a hose we can use to fix this. Uh, it's a shame that shark's gonna make you buy this whole head for a hose that routinely breaks. Um, but again, go see your local dealer, they can help you out. Um, so I can visually look through this. I can see there's no clog in it. If there was an obstruction, I could easily find it. Um, I can get in from here and then on, you know, most sharks um, do not come apart this easily. Uh, this is a duo clean model. Um, so I might take this apart. I'll find right there, there's a wad of paper, um, some paper clips, uh, something like that. A lot of times it's just a process of elimination. I know my vacuum isn't picking up. I know it seems clogged. Um, I like to start at the motor and work out, but you can anywhere in the system. So if I have suction at my hose, I know it must be clogged in the wand or the neck. 
If I don't have suction in my hose, then I know I'm going to check my hose and work back towards the motor. You know, anytime you're working on this, think about your motor. Think about the path the air travels. Um, a lot of times customers bring in a machine, you can't find out where it's clogged and it's just they've missed something. They didn't completely follow the path uh, where the dirt can go. So that's it. That's how to clean your shark vacuum, unclog it. If you're stuck, give us a call. We're happy to help you. Call your local vacuum store. That's what we're here for and we can get you back going as quickly and easily as possible. Thanks for watching.